Fact. Marijuana is America's number one cash crop, larger than both corn and tobacco. Our founding fathers even wrote the Declaration of Independence on hemp paper. But this isn't a history lesson. Strictly from an economic perspective, legalizing marijuana could rapidly help us reduce the national debt. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. The profits from this cash crop are difficult to determine, but the numbers are staggering, in a good way. Jeffrey Miron, a Harvard economics professor, has stated that replacing the current prohibition with a system of taxation and regulation would save the U.S. $7.7 .7 billion a year in federal and state cost of maintaining prohibition. To clarify, that would save us $7.7 .7 billion spent annually in just law enforcement alone. Miron also reported that marijuana would generate anywhere from $2.4 to $6.2 billion annually from taxes alone, and that does not include the jobs it would create. In fact, advocates for the legalization of marijuana insist that taxation and regulation are crucial to a successful policy. Colorado, a state that has decriminalized marijuana, has shown significant economic benefits. Revenue generated by Colorado's state licensing fee was $7.34 million, compared to $263,327 revenue generated by Colorado's state liquor licensing fees in January 2012. If a strict set of rules and regulations were established as a guideline to begin the development of marijuana as a legal crop, we could introduce new income that would significantly reduce the national debt. One major argument surfacing against legalization is the government's lack of ability to produce a sobriety field test, much like the test an individual is given to test their alcohol level. Well, my question for you is what about prescription drugs? Warnings are given on the bottle informing the patient not to operate a motor vehicle, to take with alcohol, etc. How is marijuana any different? There are many points of view that come to the surface when discussing the legalization of marijuana. Sign on to electedface.com right now and form a group and let us and your elected officials know what you think.